Gothic Antipodes and I have collected together a whole bunch of artists that are interested in Gothic Romanticism, in colonial Gothic architecture and in particular in the early stories of the Swan Colony. Ideas about what happened in this place and we began to uncover lots of amazing stories and uh, we felt they needed to be told. I found then that I was surrounded by so many artists that I could pull together poets, musicians, filmmakers, visual artists. A sense of darkness but not of the macabre, more of the mystery, of the uncanny, of ideas that we want to uncover but quite can't because we can't fully grasp the history. Yeah, well the calibre is very high because there's doctorate artists here. I've just finished my PhD in art. Anna Nazari has a PhD in art, as does Fran Rhodes and Rebecca Dagnall. Eva Fernandez is an award-winning photographer. Yeah, and of course Aurelio Costarella is Perth's most well-known couturier designer. Caitlin Cassidy who collaborated together. Christy designed this amazing canvas sculpture and she had the mezzo-soprano Caitlin Cassidy perform within it. She sang as Christy painted and told the story of Percy B. Shelley's heart represented by the glowing stone there. So it was sung in an Italian and live painted in the space which was quite the spectacle and I think everyone enjoyed it immensely. It was pretty amazing. Very beautiful, very intriguing work. <laughs>